Hey, what's up? It's Summer here. Welcome back. I have such an awesome video to share with you today and I cannot wait to show you. We are calling this space a man cave. I've been telling you I'm working on my buddy Jonas's apartment. We are designing it room by room. I did have a quite bigger budget than I'm used to, so I should stress that, that this was a little bit higher of a budget, so we had a little bit more wiggle room. Jonas did have a really awesome collection of artwork and guitars that we utilized in the space, but we still did some items budget friendly. I'm always telling you that offer up is kind of my best friend. And so we found some cool things on there that we utilized in this space. This space, when I got there, I don't really know what kind of space it was. It was just like this room that was kind of like filled with all of this stuff and didn't really have a home. So I organized it, I cleaned it, I turned it into this like super chill, vibey, like music slash you know, office, guest room, and we are calling it a man cave, and it's freaking awesome, and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope that you guys like what we did in there, and I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and please help your girl out and subscribe to my channel if you like DIYs and interior design makeovers, so stay tuned and check out what we did. After checking out Jonas's place, he showed me his guest room and I knew I had a lot of work cut out for me. This was a place that just became a dumping ground really for a lot of items and objects that didn't really have a place or a home. He needed lots of organization and he wanted this space to be used as an office in a guest room and a place where we could showcase his collection of artwork and musical instruments. After talking with Jonas and seeing the space, I drew up these sketches on how we could best utilize the space. We wanted to use it as an office, a guest room, and even have a little bar cart area. I then decided to come up with a mood board to set an overall tone and theme and vibe of the entire space. I am at Jonas's place and we are getting started on his man cave project. I've got my paint gear on and I'm ready to work. Wait until you check out this space. I've really got my work cut out for me. It's gonna be a big project today. We're gonna to be doing a um, painting all of the walls in there and the trim. I'm gonna be doing a really cool paint finish in there and I can't wait to get started. So stay tuned to see it all come together. I really had my work cut out for me on this one and just started cleaning and organizing as quickly as I could so I could clear out the space to then get ready to put paint up on the walls. Oh my gosh, you guys, this color looks so good. Can't really tell in this like lighting, but wow. What a change already. I chose like a matte paint, um, a matte finish. Taking a little break at the park here. It's a beautiful day and a great place to take the dogs. break time. I'm using an electric drill to drill holes in the wall to put up a guitar hanger so I can display his guitar in a really cool unique way. So Jonas has so many so much fun artwork in his place and I just love this rabbit. How beautiful is this and you guys this kind of set the tone for the whole vibe of this room. Um, he has some really cool different pieces of art that we're gonna utilize in this space. I'm gonna make a gallery wall up here where next to I hung the guitar. Um, I've also like taped off. We're waiting for some furniture to arrive. We're waiting for a shelf and a desk. And so I like to kind of tape off. So I have an idea, a visual idea, so I can start doing other things. Like I'm hanging some art now. We got some guitars here, um, but 
a fun little DIY thing that I had to share with you is that this beautiful bunny rabbit that I love, love, love. It's so cute, but it's just really small and I feel like it needed more like, you know, visual appeal. So I had this just regular frame and I spray painted it gold. I took the glass out. Now look when I put it on here, it just seems so much more like grandiose. So fun little DIY hack for you. I'm just gonna use a little command strip probably cause I don't wanna ruin his art. Um, and hang this guy on the wall. I'm trying to get up a gallery wall in here and he has such cool artwork. And I'm just having a little trouble figuring out a whole layout. So stay tuned to see what I do. Let's have this skateboard here and he actually used to have a skateboard company where he made these. It's called Rum Monkey High Octane Skateboards. And I just thought that the design was cool and so I wanna add it to the gallery wall and I don't know really how I'm gonna hang this, but I have some twine here and what I think I'm gonna do is just put it through the holes and make like a little like, like hook kind of thing and then essentially use hooks up there to hang this on the wall like a piece of art. Okay, so I double I used double of the twine so it was a little bit thicker and put it through the holes as so. And then I have a big piece here, which is where I'm gonna hang it from. And now I'm just gonna tie some knots here um, so it's extra tight and secure. I'm probably gonna use a few knots just to be safe extra secure so I'm just tying regular regular knots here and that seems pretty good we're gonna want to make sure that this piece is gonna be really tight so we've gotta make sure our knights our knots are good and tight I'm gonna make sure that I leave some leeway here before I tie my knot Gotta love Hermosa Beach and puppies too. I love puppies, made my day today. <laughs> so I'm at this really cool antique store by my house and I've got Rosie and we are doing some antique shopping for Jonas's um, man cave and it's gonna be so cool. Looking for some mid-century potentially bar cart items. But how cool is all of the stuff they have here? I'm at a little store called Antique Attic in Old Torrance. And they just have such cool stuff, you guys. Check it out. She's very happy about our room design too. Follow me to the man
So I'm here and we're in Jonas's new man cave and it looks freaking awesome in here. What do you think of everything that we've done in here? I love it. I love the, uh, the color. Uh, it's nice to finally see all my art on the wall. And yeah, you've had so much artwork. Like, yeah. tell us maybe a little bit about some of your artwork that you had. I will, I know that you said you like collected some of it like over the years. Yeah, I mean, it was just, I have a friend that has a gallery in LA and every time I went there, I saw something that kind of spoke to me and uh, the rabbit is like one of my favorites. I love the rabbit. That's like kind of what set the tone, I feel like for this entire space, you know, it kind of gave us our whole like vibe for like this cool man cave with all this cool artwork and just a place for you to come chill and play your music. And yeah, I think we pulled it off. I think so too. Are you stoked about it? I am. <laughs> awesome. I'm super stoked. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and help the sister out and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for really a whole bunch more DIYs and home makeovers. Thanks. Are you happy about it? And yeah. Woo. <laughs> you are blah, blah, blah. Ugh.